Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're looking at some Arduino Uno boards. Now, I only have one actual Arduino board and it's this one and we'll talk about it in a minute. But like, back in 2011 when the first Arduino Uno R3s came out, this is pretty much what they look like. This is a knockoff, but you get the idea. It has the, uh, the uh, dip at Mega 328P chip in there. And then a uh, USB interface, and everything else basically just supports this chip, and then the uh, ins and outs are brought out to these pins here. And it was a game changer. I mean, a, a programmable microcontroller like this, you know, really changed the way people look at electronics and go forward. Um, <clears throat> the simple, usable interface, you know, made the thing great. Anybody could do this. It's a great learning platform. And like I said, it's been around since 2011. So here's a little later version of the same Uno R3. You can see instead of the DIP package chip, now we have a, uh, a little flat pack chip. What are those called? QFPs, I think. And again, you see we have you know a USB interface. We have a uh, crystal for timing. And everything else just supports the chip now this one has a few more uh pins on here than this one does but other than that no real big change then we move on to the uno r4 you guys saw this one about a month ago it has an entirely new processor it has an esp32 as a co-processor it's got an led matrix it's got some built-in sensors it's really changed things the way they work. This one, like, remember what I told you, there's nothing on here except to support this chip. You have to provide everything else. Now with the R4, <clears throat> you know, we have some things. We have a CAN bus. Um, like I said, we have the LED matrix. There's a built-in clock. So I received an email, I don't know, about a month ago, from a guy in Europe who said he had created his own type of board called the Axiomata Spark. And that's what we're going to look at today. So here's the Spark. And as you can see, it is, you know, the same form factor as all the other Arduino R3s. But then things start getting different. Okay, so yes, we have the uh, dip at Mega 328P package. Then you look here and you're like, oh, what's this? Well, that's an LDR. A light uh, dependent resistor. Well, now that's a really nice feature. Okay, we have a reset pin. You know, all the Arduinos, they have their reset pins. But this one has a separate pin on here as well. Is it programmable? We hope so, right? Well, if you flip over here in the back and you look here, you can see activity is on pin D13. The button is pin D2. There's a PWM LED on D10. And the LDR is on pin A3. So D10. Ah, okay. Okay. Yes, we have a PWM LED. I'm not sure what the PWR LED is for. Activity. Oh, power. Duh. You know what? I'm a genius. Sometimes. Power, PWM, activity, RX, which is receive, and TX, which is transmit. Then we have our button on pin 2. We have this guy on analog 3. You can see we've got a couple of um, voltage regulators. There's an AMS1117. There's two of them. 3.3 and 5 volts. So we have a 5 volt and a 3.3 volt regulator. What's well, this guy here? Come on. LP LP twenty one oh two N. Ah, found it. The CP 
2102 right here is from Silicon Labs and it is their USB Express family highly integrated USB to UART bridge controller. So there's your USB. Yeah, I don't think there's any way that my eyes are going to be able to figure out what that tiny little thing is there. Can you guys make it out? It's got eight pins. I'm referring to this IC here. Oh, oh I can almost see something. Perhaps if I rotate it. Yeah. Well, I got a message, like I said, from the creator of this, and oh man. Brother, I'm sorry, but I'm going to probably butcher your name badly. All right, here we go. Povalos Dumchis? Dumcius? I apologize, brother. I apologize. I'm just a stupid American here. So anyway, he wrote to me, and he is a Ph.D. student at a university in uh, Lithuania. Vilnius, Lithuania, to be exact. And if you can tell me what Vilnius, Vilnius, Lithuania is famous for, I will, uh, I'll be impressed. But if you're my age, you probably know what I'm talking about. Anyway, the schoolmaster. So, um, he says that he identified certain gaps in understanding, and that's why he created this board. You see, it has the LEDs over here towards the edge. So, even if you were to put this into an enclosure you'd be able to view those LEDs now if you look at the standard Arduino Uno R3 they're just kind of stuck there in the middle of the board as opposed to these so you know you're not going to see those LEDs so that is a really nice move there um, we also have the uh, PWM and we're going to take a look at that right here which is on uh, pin 10 I mean all Arduinos have PWM that's nothing new what is my pointer? And if you look at here at the old Arduino, you can see the pins that are marked with a tilde, 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, and 11. Those are all PWM capable pins. So since this is based on the uh, 328P, the same IC, well, it's going to be the same pins. And you can see they have a overline. Digital 3 and Digital 2 have an exclamation point. I believe those are for the interrupts. Over here we have our, uh, what do they call that, ICSP header. There we go, focus. Cool. All right, let's get some power to this thing and uh, see what Publis has uh, loaded in here. Should have some uh, some manner of a blink sketch. Now, again, the old ones used the USB, USB B connector, which is, you know, I called a printer connector. And we haven't seen really a change until we get to the R4. But thankfully, this guy also has, oh, it has a power switch on it, too. I missed that. So let's turn it, plug it in. All right, let me put this down here, and I'm going to shut the light off. Okay, hopefully you can see. I'll cover that power light with my finger. And you can see the uh, PWM light is pulsating. Very nice. Very nicely done indeed. So I guess that is uh, our version of the Blink Sketch. Let's see if anything happens if I press a button. Something happened. See that TX light flash when I press the button? 
that means it sent a message and if I hit the reset we're back to where we were excellent so I looked at the uh, code that is supplied with this and it has the PWM thing you know uh, ramping up and down there but also if you watch the light right above there the one that's labeled activity light if I cover the LDR you see the activity light has gone on so he's also put in a little bit of a uh, built-in voltage divider slash light activated thing and I think he also has something for us in the uh, Arduino serial monitor so let me get that set up and we'll run over to the computer and have a look all right before we get to the Arduino serial monitor thing I thought I might as well show you their site it is axiometa.eu and uh, here's a rendering of the board to learn a little bit about what's on it what's going on I'm about to... and I'll put a link to that down below and you see you can get the uh, dip version for $24.99 euros or the uh smd version for 19.99 and they even have a little one a sparklet that one would be cool maybe i'll get one of those and play with it all right let's bebop over to the uh arduino there is the serial monitor and if i press the button not the reset okay i'll press the reset button first there's the reset button i'll let me uh close out that and we'll bring it back up here now you see there's nothing there. I'm going to press the button, not the reset button. And it says, hello, from Axiomata Spark. You press the button. And if we go back over here, we go to tutorials. And scroll all the way down. You can see this is what is loaded on the board. And down here in the interrupt. If we get the interrupt, then it says serial print line. So very cool. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. I'd like to thank uh, Axiomata for sending this out to us free of charge so I could show it to you guys. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Uh, there'll be a link down below where you could order this board if you're interested. And also a link to my Patreon. Uh, buck a month's all it takes. Feel free to check it out. All right, guys. That's it. I'm out. Peace.